One Piece chapter 1118, it is titled The Most Free. In the last chapter, the ancient robot got sent flying by Warkery, and the chapter ended with the transmission ending as Vegapunk was cut off and he was talking about somebody amongst the D-Clan. And in this chapter, we got an update on the Straw Hats. We saw Nika return and maybe even a second one and it resulted in such an interesting and controversial chapter within the community i don't think we've gotten a controversial chapter like this in such a long time but if you guys enjoy regular breakdowns like this make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys never miss out on a new video with that away my name is potential unleash and let's get into chapter 1118's breakdown as i mentioned in my intro the iron giant was sent flying by warkery and in this he crushed a decent amount of marine ships and he fell into the ocean vegapunk's last words included the phrase that name and i personally think that he was going to reference that joy boy was amongst them in some way because the iron giant was guarding the snail that was broadcasting the transmission that Vegapunk had and he was talking about and is so obsessed with Joy Boy and we even saw him questioning stuff about Joy Boy as he fell into the ocean so that's what I think Vegapunk was talking about. These citizens of Alabasta, Dressrosa and other countries they are reacting to Vegapunk being killed and the transmission stopping. We have different Alabasta citizens that are claiming that even though Vegapunk did research illegal things that the world government would never kill a genius like him and started to blame the straw hats and at first I didn't really understand why the citizens were questioning that the straw hats were the one to kill Vegapunk because they saved um, their country from crocodile but when you actually look back at it the citizens they never actually saw that the straw hats were the ones that liberated their country and defeated crocodile only cobra and the officers honestly everyone that's a part of Vivi's staff those were the individuals that know the truth and most people within the country they would think that it was either smoker uh, or taishiki because that's the story that the world government came up with and i also like in this particular scene that leo he was questioning he said hey do you think that luffy did it and rebecca just looks at him just so annoyed and like leo how can you be this so dumb and she just says no the gorse ask how many vegapunks remain and we find out that those include york atlas and lilith which i find a little bit weird because a few chapters ago edison was just talking to stussy so maybe he's suppressing his presence or he actually did kick the bucket at the same time the wording says that those that are accessing the punk records in reference to lilith and atlas so maybe that just means that edison disconnected i do think that it's a possibility that edison and pythagoras even though they're disconnected they could do something later down the line in order to benefit the straws because we never actually saw those two bite the bullet but the gore say they make it a hot priority to eliminate atlas and lilith because they don't believe that since they have york to have access and will still be using the punk records they don't see the point of atlas and lilith surviving so they want to cut off all loose ends it appears that all of the straw hats they have made it to at least one ship out of the many that are here we see sanji luffy chopper frankie along with bonnie atlas etc they are with the giants while the other of the straw hats are with the thousand sunny currently it appears that and potentially Jinbei. I'm not entirely sure if both of them are fighting him or if it's just Zoro, but it appears that they are holding off Nustra so that the rest of the straws can set sail and they'll just jump on. I also love the fact that when Luffy, he hopped onto the giant ship, he turned his body into the size of a giant and the same thing happened with Bonnie. I think it's so childish and well it makes it all better but the fact that they decided to turn into a giant to board a giant ship we also see doll and bluegrass they got defeated by bonnie and are turned into kids and honestly 
you could say it's a no diff, but like Bonnie Fruit is so broken. So can we really blame them from losing? I mean, look at what she did towards the end of the chapter. Luffy, he is again eating food in order to regain his strength since the Gorosei in this particular chapter, Mars is in hot pursuit. And at the end of this chapter, we saw that Luffy, he ended up going back into gear fifth, which I'll go into more detail a little bit later. And I may or may not have addressed this point in some other video, but I will say I am starting to get a little bit annoyed in the fact that Luffy, he's been using gear fifth so much. Not because I don't like gear fifth as a power up or as a transformation, even with how goofy it is, I still love it. But the problem that I have is the fact that Luffy, he's been going out of this form three, four, five-ish times during this arc, and the fact that he's gone back into it so easily it's kind of crazy to me and i'm not saying that it's bad writing or anything because we've seen plenty of times throughout the series how much luffy has bounced back after just eating meat but doing this multiple times in like a 20 chapter span that's pretty crazy. What was the point of Luffy going out of the form in the first place? If Oda did it once, maybe even twice, I think it would be fine. But this amount of time, it's a little bit tad ridiculous. I think that this is a little bit lazy. I think that he could have written it kind of like what happened at Whole Cake Island, for example, with Katakuri, Brule, and Luffy in the mirror world. Um, you could say that it was plot armor, but there's plot armor in every series that needs their MC to survive to a certain point. And so I'm not necessarily mad at that scene. I think, you know, with how Oda incorporated Luffy using Brule to run out of the mirror world in order to gain his hockey was fine because it was only once and you could say that i'm potentially nitpicking on this i think that's fine but the fact that it's happened so frequently in the same arc and in such a small time frame it's kind of whack i'm not gonna lie about that we see that the giants they are protecting the ship and the individuals that are on the ship from bars who shot a flame attack towards them where one of the giants they say that it's blistering and i wonder what color we'll see the flame be once it's animated because we know that the different color of flames it determines how hot a flame actually is for example look at Sanji diablo jambe and look at his ifrit jambe but because these individuals are so strong and specifically once again talk about mars because that's who they're fighting and also they can fly the gores say they are problems and doria and Bronky know that they have to be taken out because they'll follow them to the ends of the earth and try and kill them after seeing luffy in his gear fifth bonnie she uses her distorted future to also turn into gear fifth and this is where i mentioned earlier that the chapter was controversial this is a very very controversial part and i can see both sides of the argument because on one hand it's poetic that after everything saturn put kuma through he kind of created a second nika it makes sense that bonnie can use gear fifth since she created a future where she's the most free and in her flashback we saw her do it against alpha using luffy's gear third attack on top of her being a child having that childish mentality using the distorted future it makes sense that she can do this so i'm not mad at it like i said it makes a lot of sense but on the other hand at least to me i think it kind of undermines what luffy did in order to achieve gear fifth he fought against kaido and had to be killed in order to unlock his awakening and i think it also takes away from how much people talk about nika and talk about joy boy because they were legendary individuals and we've never seen a power like this but bonnie she can use it just like that it's already broken so like why do we need a second person to use it? I made this comparison in my review, but it kind of reminds me of the progression of the Super Saiyan transformation because that transformation, it was originally based off of a Saiyan's anger and rage. Goku and Trunks, in my opinion, they have the truest way that somebody should go Super Saiyan. However, I don't think that Gohan's or Vegeta's there was, was bad either. But when you look at Goten, Kid Trunks, Caulifla, with how they transformed, it kind of takes away with how sacred and legendary that form is. I'm gonna use a quote from The Incredibles. I know it's a Disney movie, but I still think that the quote, it holds weight. And when everyone's super, <laughs> 
no one will be. So think of it kind of like that. That's why when other characters, they can use the same ability as other characters or specifically a main character people, they have complaints about it or get upset. And I think it's very valid. Oda, he had a statement in 2022 about the final war. And it said, I really want to joke around more in the final saga, even if it becomes a manga that people say, your idea is boring, it can still be an entertainment for me. It'll be interesting if the topic of conversation was One Piece is in big trouble, I'm going to enjoy it. Which is fair, and I'm at a point where I've read over a thousand chapters of One Piece multiple times, so I'm not mad or anything because, well, that's just how the story is. It's nothing new, so there's no point in getting upset about it, and I think that you just have to read the story for what it is. But let me know how you guys feel about chapter 1118 in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys never out on a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok is on the screen and in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to unleash your potential.